What's up, guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again today. Hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. Okay, so I wanted to start off by looking at the market here. Uh, today has been a very red day for the most part. Uh, we see some huge dips going on here. <laughs> not sure exactly uh, what's going on. I've been looking at several different things. I did not see what actually happened today, considering uh, the CPI data came out. All of that was really good. I think um, it, what it could be is that uh, people are have gotten more interested in the um, stock market, I guess, uh, because it is up today due to that CPI data, which is a good thing. Uh, we may be at the peak of interest rates here, the height of the interest rates. So we hopefully will be seeing a downtick of uh, all of that happening. So what does that mean? It means that we could possibly be seeing a drop. Now, this might not seem correct, but this is just my my personal um, thoughts about it. But we could start seeing the housing market, the, the, the values go down. And the reason why is that when we see the uh, rates go down, that means that people may be people who actually own homes, who were buying homes, back when the rates were low, uh, who were unwilling to sell their homes while the rates were high, uh, if these rates do come back down, those same people may be willing to go ahead and get out of their homes and, uh, and put those homes on the market, which once, the, once all those homes hit the market, now we're going to have uh, you know, an abundance of supply, which could drive the prices down. Uh, but uh, I mean, that's just my own reasoning. I do not know for sure about that, but just from the information that I have gotten over the, over the past, you know, few months, uh, that seems to be the trajectory that we could be on. Um, so that being said, these prices of the cryptocurrency are down, um, but this also could mean that things are coiling up. To go shooting upwards we'll see of course I have to put my disclaimer out there I'm not a financial advisor I am simply a guy on YouTube telling you what I think okay so um, now XRP obviously uh, a lot of controversy going on about it um, that whole situation which I'll get into here in just a couple minutes I wanted to go over a, a couple other articles that I came across uh, number one, XRP Ledger is set for major shift with new Ripple version 2.0. Now, this actually came out yesterday. However, um, the uh, this update was available yesterday to all node operators. Um, and it actually increases the TPS from 1500 to 3400. Now, I know this is not the actual peak uh, from what I understand in the past. The, I saw uh, several articles talking about the actual peak was somewhere in the tens of thousands of transactions per second. I know like Visa and you know all these credit cards, they have to have many tens of thousands or the ability to handle tens of thousands of transactions per second to, to be able to cover all of the uh, uh, purchases that go on all around the world. So um, it's most likely much higher than this. However, uh, maybe this is like the base number of transactions. Um, however, this is this is a very good thing. Also, it seems to me that things are being updated and prepared for possibly some changes. Uh, now, uh, you know, as you guys know, me, I kind of <laughs> look a little deeper into things like, why would you do this? at this particular time right why would this update come out right now especially when we just saw this so-called fake uh, ETF which the more I've researched that the more I have kind of seen that some kind of some shenanigans are going on somewhere in this whole process but all in all um, this is this is an you know this is also a very good thing um, the the thing that I obviously got the most out or the thing that I really focused in on is the fact that the transactions per second have gone up. Uh, there's a lot more uh, important information here, but 
I'm not just going to, I'm not going to go over all that. Uh, I think the transactions per second is probably the most important part of that, uh, but I could be wrong. That's just for me. All right, moving on to the next article. Now this is largest bank, uh, largest banking giant in Germany partners with Ripple for digital payments. Now, okay. So there are tons of banks uh, and, and the only, you know, obviously I have an issue with the whole central banking thing, but lots of banks have have gone into partnerships with with Ripple. Um, this look, this is all the proof, right? We, we're getting a ton of proof about XRP. Number one, XRP has regulation uh, regulatory clarity. It, there are tons of banks partnering with Ripple. There's, I mean, ETFs supposedly being uh, created. I mean, there's there's a lot going on. Now, we just don't hear the same thing about really any other cryptocurrency. So this should really give us that, um, that confidence and understanding that something major is about to happen with XRP. Uh, me personally, at the levels that it's at, where we at right now, 62 cents. Honestly, I'm about to make a buy here in just a few minutes once I'm done with this. Um, this is still, I'm still a buyer at 62 cents, me personally, uh, considering where I'm expecting it to go. Uh, yeah, I'm still a buyer. But all in all, you know, this is another uh, a notch in the belt for Ripple. Um, Good stuff, guys. This is really, really good stuff. Uh, you guys can check out this article yourselves. Uh, I don't, I don't want to go into reading all of this stuff. It's, uh, you know, it's really dry. But hey, it's, it's still important, important information that we need to see, just to give us that confirmation that, hey, things are happening. Okay. Um, now, let's go ahead and get into this. <laughs> oh my God, this iShares trust thing, right? So before I get into the XRP uh, 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 ETF, let's look at the Ethereum ETF. Okay, so this was filed 11-9-2023. And now look, guys, I'm, I'm just I'm not trying to prove this. From what I understand as well, is that if this actually becomes a big thing it's possible that it could mess things up as far as a bull run i mean this is just kind of uh, the information that i'm gleaning from what i'm seeing um, but any you got to remember it's buy the rumor sell the news okay so this is no longer rumor this is this is actually news right here this is the actual uh etf for xrp now a lot of people out there are saying that it's fake my problem is is that you cannot just go file any official documentation like this in the name of another company without facing severe repercussion this is not legal Okay, you can't. You, so as a as it, you, okay. So if somebody who's just wanted to go and spoof this whole thing, right, go and troll and create an ETF for XRP. A, 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 you know, XRP is is what? Well, probably the most popular outside of uh, um, Bitcoin and Ethereum. The most popular. Um, cryptocurrency out there. So how are they going to, how is someone going to go do something like this without facing major repercussion? Not to mention it was on CNBC. Uh, what is it? Uh, CNBC. Yeah. They, I mean, they're talking about it on CNBC, uh, poo pooing it. Why? I mean, in one day they do that. Come on, man. Come on. Let, let's, let's get real here, but let's look at this. Okay. So it has a file number, entity name. I mean, all of this information telling who filed it, you know, the date it was done, what it's about, all of that, right? So let's go ahead and go to the, let's go to the Bitcoin 
ETF. If it'll pull it up. Let's see. Okay, same thing. This was done in June, uh, June 8th of 2023. All right, this is the Bitcoin ETF. Same thing, same stuff. Okay, just obviously the date is different, but um, now the, the company name is different, obviously, but still, this is the filing. It has the company name, address of the company, you know, the all of that information, right? So, and now that was the Bitcoin ETF. Let's look at the XRP ETF. Here we go. The name, address of the company, the date, everything. So what's different here? Nothing at all. This is the state of Delaware, official website for the first state, right? Guys, now, is there a chance that this could be fake? Yes, there's a chance. Is it probable? Most likely not. I mean, you don't just have someone go and file something like this in the name of a, of a company, company like BlackRock, you, you, maybe using somebody's name. I mean, this is, no, you can't do this without facing repercussion they don't just you can't you can't go and just set up something I, i'll say this if you were to go i know here in texas if you were to go to set up a uh, a dba right you cannot go and set up a dba in someone else's name because you have to show your license or your your id you can't go and say oh i just want to joe blow created this DBA. No, you can't do that. There are checks and balances when it comes to this because otherwise anybody could just do anything. It doesn't make sense to say that someone just went and spoofed something like this. Now, from what I understand, BlackRock has come out and denied it. But look, again, I'm just going to say this. Do I know 100% sure for sure that it is real and there isn't something funny going on no I don't but from my own experience it tells me my experience tells me that this is most likely not fake but what we're gonna do is just go along with that okay we're gonna go along with it being fake despite the fact that nobody was saying anything like this when the Ethereum ETF was created, the Bitcoin ETF was created, only when the XRP ETF is created. Makes, it makes a lot of sense, right? So anyway, we will see. The truth will come out. It may take a little while. But, I mean, for the time being, the only thing I'm really concerned about is getting this bull run underway. And if this would... If, if the confirmation of an XRP ETF uh, uh, being created would cause some type of hiccup with that, you know what? I'm cool with everybody thinking it's fake. It's not, you know, I don't have a, a huge dog in the fight when it comes to this. Um, if, you know, if it's necessary to keep it in that vague area, hey, I'm cool with that. All right, so one other thing I wanted to talk about, this is not related to, um, uh, this is not related to cryptocurrency, but it is very important nonetheless, all right? This, is, this has more, uh, a huge effect on us, um, although more so in the cities that are uh, on board with it. But as you see, the uh, title here, 14 U.S. cities sign WEF treaty to ban meat, dairy, private cars um, by 2030. Obviously, this is not a good thing. Um, you can read into it what you want, but this all leads to one specific goal that specific people have for the rest of us. Okay. Um, 
this is these are the type of things that we have to stand up against because otherwise all this other stuff won't even matter it just won't matter where are you going to be if you can't if, if you're if you're being told like if something like this if they if you can be banned from eating meat consuming dairy right buying clothes when you want owning a vehicle okay and then on top of that only being able to fly less than 1500 kilometers every three years what the hell look if they can ban you from that they can ban you from breathing okay where does it stop when do we say no I'm not going you know any further into that because the entities that are behind all of this watch very closely so I'm just telling you guys be ready for all of the BS to come down over the next couple you know a few years and be ready to stand up against it because what it really comes down to is our children the next generations the the, the next few generations will be non-existent okay if this continues so these are the cities and I was really well actually not surprised but I I, I really took up um, you know uh, or, or raise an eyebrow to two of the entries here and that was Austin and Houston obviously but these are you know democratic cities leftist cities that you know I hate Houston I really liked Austin but you know I'd rather not I don't even go to Austin but these are the cities that are obviously on board which um, I mean you know a lot of these others are I mean, they were already, you know, they definitely don't surprise at all. Um, so anyway, guys, just something to look at the. Um, wow. Uh, yeah, just 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 be ready to stand up for for your rights. That's all I can tell you. Um, outside of that, guys, I really appreciate all of the. Um, you know the support from those of you who are still hanging on with me I know that uh, this has been kind of a rough ride but again I've had a lot going on a lot of uh, things coming down on me and you know as you can tell here I've been a bit more consistent with uh, creating these videos so yeah a lot a lot has changed and um, yeah hopefully um, I can contribute to um, to making things better for everybody and that's really what my 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 main objective is so anyway guys if you haven't done so already please make sure you hit that subscribe button like button and post notification buttons and uh, come back and see me again and until next time this has been mr. free corner take care of yourselves and God bless <laughs> Thank you.